What is up, YouTube? Footage RLC. We're back with some Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Here in the Super Bowl, we fought and clawed our way through the entire season. We almost missed the playoffs. We were very close to losing that game, but we made it all the way through the playoffs, and now we're here in the Super Bowl. And I'm using the Bengals jerseys, which I hope that'll bring me a little bit of Super Bowl luck. I'm not quite sure. He's getting the ball first out here on offense. We're going to start on defense. This was before I had the positional hero, Anthony Barr, so you guys aren't going to see him um, out there on the field. I wanted to I'll post this before that gameplay, but that was just a g I had to post that. Okay, I had to post that before. And look at David Amerson making a miraculous dive for the catch in the in the ball, getting the pick, and then Jamal Charles hit the spin move, breaking a tackle. Jamal Charles into the end zone. My players know it's the Super Bowl, and they gotta play a hundred times better. And already it's it's already apparent that my players want to win this game. David Amerson making an amazing play, sacrificing his body to get the ball because this is the last game of the season so we're going all out trying to win it and uh, so we're up 7-0 early we haven't even been a minute into the game but he's going to find his tight end down the seams but it's going to be knocked down incomplete now this guy did not have a team like I did he did not have as good of a team as me so I can kind of uh, thank you know some of that for why you know we're going to get some of the animations and some of the things that we do but still I have proven, a lot of people have proven that you can still beat these like stacked really high overall teams easily, but it does not help when your receivers are dropping balls like his, his like his are right now, second down and 10, and then he's going to get sacked by J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt has been surprisingly underwhelming since I've had him, and David Amerson again, and Amerson breaking a tackle, David Amerson, he wants this win so bad, and he's getting a pick six, two picks in the first two minutes of the game, David Amerson seven, my opponent zero, and Amerson is just, he's playing with so much heart up there i'm so proud of him if you guys i think watch g Maya's world um he's talked a lot about how good that david amerson is and that's honestly kind of why i got him and he is locking up he's making plays out here he's playing with some enthusiasm and i absolutely love it right there we almost got the pick with jamie collins still finds i believe that's greg olson for the first down he's got to put something together on this drive taking some check down routes taking what i'm giving him and that's what he needs to do if he wants to try to win this game you know um then he's going to try to go with the drag route but we get to him in time and knocks the ball down incomplete so second down and 10 now and we're getting a lot a good pressure on him but again I believe he finds Greg Olson once again Greg Olson is um, probably the main focal point of his offense but JJ Watt again with another sack going into the second quarter he does have the ball at the 37 yard line this is with the ball a little bit further and right here Christian Colin Jones gets the pick Amerson punches it out and Jones gets the pick everything's going right for us right now and David Amerson have a game he's he's already the Super Bowl MVP I do not see anyone else well assuming we win of course and then we throw a dumb pick right there but assuming we win i think amerson's locked up to get that super bowl mvp because amerson is playing ridiculous right now making all the great plays doing everything that we want him to do but we do not stop that play right there i believe that's greg olson again and again greg olson has been the main focal point of his offense to this point but look at Tavon Austin and Tavon Austin 96 speed he's gone to the house a 100 yard kick return and that is exactly what we needed as he pulled within one we make it 14 once again or we, as he pulled within a one possession game we make it a two possession game just like that on the great kickoff return and things just cannot be going better right now and he actually brings Cam Newton into the game I'm not sure if Cam Newton is the kind of guy you want to be playing in the Super Bowl right now. Sorry, Panthers fans. I know it's still kind of early, but trust me, you'll get over it. And he fumbles the ball, but we were off size again some way, somehow. Uh, so that's not going to count. I wish it would have because it would have been kind of funny. Um, but still, we're up 21-7 to right now. Everything is going great for us, and things just aren't really going well for him. Uh, he's just been kind of just getting some bad luck, but he's going to find, I believe that's Ben Hartsock for the first down. Again, his tight ends have been the main focal point of his offense. Really, he hasn't looked at anyone else other than his tight ends, but his tight ends are open in the flats a lot. So uh, I don't exactly blame him for going to him. So second down and five. He's got all day in the pocket to throw. He's going to try to take off with Cam Newton, picking up the first down and sliding, being smart, not trying to fumble that ball. He's out here fighting 
exciting, and I can admire that because a lot of people would quit, but we get Jamie Collins with the pick, and that could seal it if he rage quits, but luckily he doesn't, and it's good to see someone that will actually kind of like play the game out, and again, I'm not perfect. I rage quit too. Trust me, this game, it's almost impossible not to rage quit this game, but um, a lot of people, they just will not stay in the game no matter what. Uh, you know, they give up like one pick, they're down like two possessions, they'll just quit, so it's kind of nice to see someone who actually come out here and fight and play and DRC gets him that pick just a bad read by me I was trying to force that throw to Cooper and I didn't get it and he gets the pick and to be honest we are extremely lucky that we're up 14 because we have not played the best football or at least not on offense Stevens has been really really good as he gets the first on there so I believe once again Greg Olson um yeah, I am very, very lucky I'm up right now because, again, we have not been playing too smart. Um, you know, had we been playing someone with a much better team than this guy, we might be being get, we, we might be getting blown out because, I mean, just you don't throw two picks like that, you know, and come back from it a whole lot. You know, normally that kind of screws you over, and Cam Newton's going to put the ball on the ground, but he recovers it. And oddly enough, he doesn't call a timeout. He's not even going to take three. That's pretty much a guaranteed three. I think he did have Brandon McManus. So that's almost a guaranteed three, and he doesn't take it. I don't know why. Uh, just very, very confusing. A lot of people confuse me. You know what? Everyone I play confuses me, pretty much. I don't understand why anyone does half the things they do in this game. And DRC gets him another pick. This is just the gold DRC. And he's out here balling right now. Uh, but unfortunately, it might not matter too much. But again, he, if he gets a touchdown right here, it's a much different ball game. But he's got to score. He's got to get into the end zone. And that's going to help him as he goes across the middle, too. I believe, once again, is tight end. It's either Olsen or Hartsock. I know he has both of them. I think this one right here, this is Keenan Allen. I know he gets hit hard by DRC. So second on four, knocking on the doors of the end zone. Takes another big hit, but holds on to the ball. Once again, I think that's his tight end. If you guys didn't know, he liked to go into his tight end. Could, could you guys guess that? Yeah, he liked to go into his tight end. And Cam Newton puts the ball on the ground. And finally, we get it back. That's something that Panthers fans do not like seeing. And he, he didn't try to fall on the ball. He actually backed away from the pile in that play. <laughs> I'm sorry, Panthers fans, but um, yes, yeah, so we get the ball back now. Two minutes left to go. We got all day in the pocket, so I reroute Broyles, and Ryan Broyles got some room. Could this be a touchdown? This will be an amazing touchdown if we get it, but no. He gets tracked down and gets tackled, but still an amazing play again, all day in the pocket, and normally I never use that playmaker feature, because one, I always do it wrong, and two, I never normally have that much time, but that time, I had all the time in the world, and we find Jordan Reed for the touchdown, and things are starting to get out of hand. I think it's safe to say that um, we've won this game but again i don't know crazier things have happened and i'm kind of a bum so I, it, it would not surprise me if he came back <laughs> down 21 like again dude just like you know i have a problem with giving up leads as you guys have seen before in my vids um you know, but again, he's got to try to move the ball right now. That first down to Keenan Allen definitely helps him. But again, he's got to move the ball quick. He's got to move the ball fast. And he's got to do something. He does have a chance. Because again, when you're playing me, you always have a chance. It's because I'm not very good. But uh, Ron Parker knocks that ball down. So second down and 10. And then Ron Parker makes up for it. And he gets the pick right back. And again, this game looks like it's pretty much over. But again, he's going to stick in here, which I'm very, very happy about. Because again, people just do not stay in games. And I, I don't quite understand why. Um, but people just will not stay in games very long, you know, which I mean, I understand it. This game can be very, very frustrating at times. And again, we reroute Broyles and Broyles once again, getting us to the two yard line. Uh, I'm telling you, this Ryan Broyles is an amazing, I think he's kind of slept on, to be honest. I don't see a lot of people use him, but he's a beast for me. He's got like 97 route running and like 94 speed. In my opinion, he's a beast in the slot and in the slot, you really want players with high route running, or at least in my opinion, you do. You know, I know I've, I've heard a lot of people say that route running does not matter as we get to pick with Ryan Shazier. Uh, to me, it does matter a lot because, again, you guys know I love Travis Kelsey. I think he's a beast, but his 92 Madden Superlative card I think is trash because it just, he does not have the route running. And the way that I run my offense, I rely on a lot of out routes to my tight ends. And, you know, just I like running routes with my tight ends. And... I need guys with higher route runners. You can see Broyles once again wide open in the end zone for the touchdown. But I like my tight ends to have really good route running. That's why I had Larry Donnell. That's why I'm using Jordan Reed. So while a lot of people don't get guys like that, I do because I feel like route running is a huge uh, you know, thing in this game. Or at least in my opinion it is. I use it a lot. And it kind of sometimes to me it can be the difference between winning and losing a game more so in draft champs. Because in draft champs I won't always get a tight end that's that good. But my offense mainly revolves around my tight ends so if you're ever playing me 
lock up the tight ends, okay? Just just lock up the tight ends and you and you'll be fine. As DRC gets the pick and he's going to rage quit. I wish he wouldn't rage quit. Like you've made it this far. There's only a minute. I was going to kneel the clock out. Um but he's going to rage quit. So GG to my opponent. Um sorry it didn't quite go the way that you wanted to. And again, I, I don't like posting bl blowouts like this, but it's the Super Bowl, so I kind of had to. So we do win the Super Bowl. So now I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of newer gameplay. Be sure to comment any um suggestions for the team. I know I heard DeAndre Hopkins in yesterday's video. I'm going to be looking into that as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out as usual. Have a great day.